Hi everyone, I'm Ke Wu from China and my final project topic is Big Data Case Study in Marketing, the RFM model in the World Country Store. Uh, as we all know, many of the most successful applications of Big Data are in the marketing area, especially in the area known as database marketing. In this world, big data is used in both the cost term and the revenue term of the profit equation. In database marketing, uh, the database refers to a collection of data on prospective targets of a marketing campaign. Depending on the situation, uh, this data may be detailed behavioral data on existing customers pulled from operational systems such as order checking systems, billing systems, point of sale systems. Uh, and uh, there are five main purposes uh, with the help of big data application in marketing. Uh, the first one is price. The price is one of the most important factors that determine whether a business is selling to customers or not. There is a need to understand the appropriate selling price. It can be used to come up with a company's pricing metric. And second, preference. What are the customers looking for in a given product or service? How is your product different from your competitors? Through big data, it is possible to determine these instances and uh, customize your products and services to meet your customer's preference. And the customer service uh, is uh, also a very important purpose. In your market research, you need to know what your customers are feeling about in the customer service offered by your business. Uh, by using data extraction service uh, targeted to various forums and uh, survey sites, it is possible to get what the customers are after. Uh, in this, you can greatly increase your sales and start more revenue. Also, there are what created and known as buying patterns from many customers. There are situations when customers tend to spend more on certain products and less on others. Through big data analysis, it is possible to understand such buying patterns and hence design the most appropriate marketing techniques. The potential customers is the last purpose of my introduction. Uh, it is through big data that you can understand who are likely to be your customers and what they need. And uh, my case study is focused on a famous uh, company named uh, the Vermont Country Store. Uh, the Vermont Country Store is an American catalog business. Uh, it is founded in 1946 and it is famous for its specialty as the purveyors of the practical and the hard to find. The Vermont Country Store sells a broad array of general merchandise, traditional specialty and uh, nostalgic items. When the proprietors of the Vermont Country Store sent out their very first catalog in 1945, their customer relations strategy was pretty basic. The mailing list included every name on the family's Christmas card list. Well, this is a very early stage, and uh, we all know that mm, we need to control the pace, and uh, we need to balance the company between healthy growth and overselling. So at that age, mm, the company thinks that uh, it is just uh, between a simple equation.
but with growth, company growth with complexity. It is a difficult problem to determine how many catalogs to send and to whom. And it is no longer a, a matter of simple equation. So to help control their mailings and more accurately predict customer needs and behavior, the Vermont country store turned to staff which is a very famous uh, famous uh, statistical statistical software and uh, so they, there's a basic model named the RFM model uh, introduced to the company uh, recency, frequency and uh, monetary analysis or RFM is a term used to describe a family of models where the input variables are considered to three old favorites. First is residency. It means that how long has it been since the customer's most recent purchase. And frequency. It means that how often has the customer made a purchase in some predefined length of time. The last one, monetary value. How much money has the customer spent over the measured time period? This is the three main variable input variables of the RFM model. Erin McCarthy, she is the manager of statistical services and market research in the Vermont country store. She said that in the recency frequency monetary targeting is quite more common in the catalog industry. And let me um, explain this model to you. And the people um, to create an RFM analysis, one creates categories for each attribute. For instance, the recency attribute might be broken into five categories. The people in the top content pile are given a five, the people in the next lower content pile are a four, and so on. In this manner, each customer is given three scores, ranging from one to five. Taken together, these scores are the coordinates of a particular cell in an RFM cube. Uh, look at this cube, it, it is the RFM cube and the customers who fall into the same cell of the RFM cube are said to be in the same bucket uh, and will receive the same treatment. For example, customers who have very recently made a purchase busy frequently and spend a lot of, of money are in RFM bucket 555. And uh, let me demonstrate a small demo in RFM model. Uh, I use R to generate some random data and build a simple model. Uh, this model is used to uh, create a, a RFM cube uh, like, like this one. Yeah. And, uh, the codes on this size uh, is used to uh, generate some random data, uh, which is uh, to test the model. And uh, these codes are the model codes. Uh, it can build a queue. And let me show you the result directory uh, here. Uh, this is a, a snapshot in R Studio, and we can see uh, the first column is customer ID, and the uh, second is the variable M, and the third F, the fourth R, and we can see the rank of the three variables uh, on the last three columns. Uh, they are all different. 
And the RFM model has a procedure. It is not an end uh, of the story just uh, after uh, we built the cube. And the procedure is to do a, a test uh, marrying to, to a random sample of the database in which all the RF and buckets are equally represented. And some cells will respond better than others. So the RF and buckets can now be sorted by their response rate to the test marrying. Alternatively, the response rate from the test marrying can be used to calculate the profitability of marrying to each bucket. The break even response rate is the cost per piece divided by the net profit from each cell. And uh, we all know that uh, this RFM model only has three input variables, which is not enough to predict such a complicated system uh, in which uh, the we need to we need to predict precisely uh, what the customer want and uh, who is the potential customers. So the company introduced the three more complicated model to predict the customers' behaviors. The first one, neural network model. Uh, this model is based on biological neural network model. And uh, it is a famous model for predicting in complex systems. Uh, due to the time, I will just uh, briefly introduce these three models because uh, my focus is on the RFM models. And uh, the neural network model perform not very good in uh, this case. And then the second one is the regression model. Regression is a common method in statistics. And uh, it, we use the data in RFM code and some other variables to predict sales, revenues, and uh, something like that. The last one is the decision tree model. Oh, it is a comprehensive and famous model in data mining. And it's very useful and uh, it performs very well. Maybe it did the best of all the models in this company. And after apply all these models to predict the customers and uh, increase the efficient, uh, there are many immediate benefits. We start firmly in place. McCarthy says that the Vermont country stores predicted capabilities have increased greatly. And let's see the data. When we applied that model and projected it out through the year, with our 20 marines totaling 40 million catalogs, we came up with more than 100% return on investment. It was a real slam dunk. Uh, and we all know that no one has 100% prediction power, but we are all striving to do the best we can. And uh, the enterprise miner takes us a long way towards that. Uh, this sentence is from the company. The enterprise miner did take them a very big benefit. And some people believe that the new world of marketing belongs to the people who master the technologies in big data analysis. Mm -hmm. That's all. Thank you.